Starting November 20th, 2025, foreign travelers entering China can complete their arrival card online about six days before arrival through various official platforms. These travelers are exempt from submitting this form. If you haven't completed it online, you may still fill out the paper version, complete it before immigration, or use the kiosks at the entry port if available. Please present the entry declaration receipt to the officer at immigration inspection. For citizens with border residence certificates from the seven listed countries, click here. All other travelers, click here. Select your type of ID document and upload the corresponding page. For example, your passport data page. Your details will be auto-filled. Next, choose your mode of entry. Vessel, flight, train, automobile, on foot or a combination. Enter your arrival vehicle number, then select your entry city. The available ports of entry will be shown based on the transportation mode and city you choose. Chinese name is optional. Country and city of birth. Contact number. First, the country code, then enter the phone number. Email address. Indicate whether you hold a valid visa or entry permit. If yes, provide the visa number. If no, select the relevant entry policy. Choose your purpose of entry. You can select an entry date within six days before arrival. Enter your destination city in China and any transit cities, if applicable. If not listed under popular cities, scroll to the province to select it from there. Select the city where you will spend the most time during your trip to China. For the address in China, first select the district. Provide your detailed address in China. Indicate if you have been invited to China, for example a sponsor, organization, friend. If you already have confirmed departure transportation, select Yes. And enter the details of your departure from China. If you are travelling with companions, you can submit the arrival cards together. Complete the form. Select the individual, then click to input the declaration statement. Finally, sign and confirm. Each traveller will still receive an individual confirmation with a QR code. Please present the entry declaration receipt to the officer at immigration inspection.
According to the Civil Aviation Administration of China, starting June 28, 2025, passengers are prohibited from carrying power banks without a 3C China Compulsory Certification mark, have unclear markings, or belong to recalled models or batches on domestic flights in China. For domestic flights, your power bank must display the CCC logo, usually engraved or printed on it. This requirement does not apply to international flights, based on information from several major airports interviewed by Chinese media. However, travellers have reported that power banks without the 3C mark were confiscated even during layover and international flights. In some cases, the officers may be inspecting the power bank's capacity rather than its CCC mark. Procedures may vary by airport, and most travellers report that this rule only applies to domestic flights. Some airports may provide mailing services. For instance, they can send the power bank to your hotel in the next city in China you are travelling to. Passengers may carry power banks or lithium-ion batteries up to 100 watt-hours. With approval, batteries between 100 and 160 watt-hours are also permitted. The power bank's capacity must be clearly indicated on the device itself. It will be confiscated at security check if its capacity exceeds the permitted limit or if the capacity is not clearly printed or marked. Airport security in China is very strict when it comes to power banks and lithium-ion batteries based on our experience. They must be in carry-on luggage and are not allowed in checked baggage. For instance, during our departure from Shenzhen Airport, my checked luggage was pulled out because I had accidentally left my DJI battery handle inside. The officer stopped us during the security check, showed us the bag, and asked us to remove the item. On another occasion, while departing from Guangzhou Airport, one of the power banks was confiscated because it exceeded the allowed capacity. Some travelers also suggest getting a power bank locally in China, either by renting or buying one.